What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue, and today's a very special day. I'm super excited to uh, take a first look at the TCA Sidestick Airbus Edition by Thrustmaster. Just looking at the box, you can tell that we are in for a freaking treat. Oh boy, oh yeah, it's about to go down. So you can see here on the left, we got different information. This is supposed to be like an Airbus side stick uh, replica for the most part. Um, pretty cool, Thrustmaster partnered up with Airbus to get this Airbus edition. I believe it is licensed by Airbus as well. Uh, so all you Airbus fans out there who love flying these planes, I think that this is gonna be really dope. We can also see on this side that uh, there's gonna be Kind of get that glare off of there. I guess some more additional TCA quadrants, um, a few different add-ons, pretty freaking cool. Um, also works with the rudder pedals, which I just also just got back, has some information, but without further ado, man, um, I'm ready to open this thing up. So let's take a look at how this baby looks. I'm going to pop open the top here. We got our manual, which I probably should read. <laughs> I probably should read this. I'm probably not gonna, oh, look at that. So check this out. Um, speaking of manuals, uh, it looks like you can actually swap out the um, the buttons, the left and right buttons. So I guess you could either do left-handed side stick or the right or right-handed side stick. So that's pretty nice for uh, my left-handed people and right-handed people, or if you wanna be realistic and be first officer uh, or captain. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this baby up. I think that's all that's in the box. We'll just double check and make sure. Actually, there is one more thing in here. I'm gonna try not to be super destructive, but you know, I think these are the buttons. Let's see, yep, yep, oh wow. So the buttons come separately, apparently. Just gonna pop that through there. There we go, so we'll put that back in the box and we'll close it because we got everything out for now. Yeah. Cool. All right, so let's see, what is this thing? What is this? All right, yeah, so this is, I think what we saw in the instructions, um, the little, that I think you can clip it on somehow. So we'll probably figure that out later. And we have the other side. So I think this is, if I wanted to switch it to a right hand side stick, we could just pop these on and it'll be a right hand side stick. So that's pretty legit. I like that. That's. I think I don't know very many. I don't think I've ever seen any other sticks that actually have that uh, that can do that. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this open. It's gonna rip it apart. This is freaking Christmas today, man. Super excited. I got it. Throw that up to the side. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, we are looking. Wow, 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 wow. So I am an owner of the uh, T16000. So if you have the Thrustmaster T16000, this may look a bit familiar to you. Um, it does look um, very similar, especially the base part. So you see, you see how I have the six buttons on the left and the six buttons on the right. But the biggest difference here, uh, obviously besides the color and the Airbus logo down here, um, is the button. So we still have a trigger down here, which is good. So you still actually, you know, if you don't want to use it for, um, you know, civil aviation or flying Airbus, you could also use it for, I don't know, things like Elite and Dangerous or Star Citizen, DCS World, things like that. You can still use it for those things. It actually has an additional button that the other one does not have, which is right here. So there's a button right above the trigger. That's interesting. Really interested to see what we can use that for. Uh, so that is different. Uh, there is no longer a button right here in the thumb area, which I guess that maybe this one replaces that, I assume. We have our right, our red button on the right. We have a button on the left. We still have our little hat switch here, which goes up, down, left, right. I think it goes to the angles as well. And it kind of, uh, it rotates pretty good too. It feels really smooth, honestly. Like, I feel like it might. I could be wrong. Let me, let me, you know, we still got to test it out in the sim, but I feel like it might be even just a little bit more smooth than the 16,000 that I have. But again, this is brand new. I mean, I've had my 16,000 for three years. So, uh, oh wow, look at that, another button uh, right down here on the base of the joystick. Not the base, but you know, the base of the actual joystick itself. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right, my finger is pointing. There's a button right there, so that's cool. That is really, I'm not sure what, again, I got some new options. 
of things that we can press now, which is very nice to have. It's always good to have more buttons because every time you get in a sim, there's always something new you wanna, you wanna map. So we'll have some fun mapping this up. But again, um, as far as like first look, first impressions of this joystick, I mean, it's pretty lightweight. Um, look around here at the bottom. You can see here that it has a switch that says left-handed or right-handed. So you could switch that left to right. That's the same with uh, the 16,000. It also has the uh, same thing. So I can probably pop that to the right because I am right-handed. But if we're probably gonna use it for our left hand, we'll see, we'll test that out. We have our little rubber pads here on the bottom surrounding the, uh, the base so that whenever you put it down, it doesn't uh, slide around. Um, and it's always good. Uh, especially if you have like a wood table or something like that, some type of surface. Um, but yeah, the plastic looks pretty good. Pretty much it's all made out of plastic, which is okay. I'm not against that. It's definitely um, lightweight. Again, it feels very smooth. It also has the twist function as well, um, which is definitely important. You can use that for either your rudder control or you could use it for the nose wheel steering, which is most likely I'm gonna use it for the nose wheel steering and I'll use the T-Flight rudder pedals for my actual rudder. And then we have this here, which we can use um, as we choose. And you could obviously use it as a throttle. It kind of has a little bit of a throttle, um, I guess, graphic here, as if you were using that for a throttle, which would be pretty cool. Um, but I like it. I like it. I do like it. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Again, here's the Thrustmaster logo on the front, but um, very, very similar. The first, first thing I saw when I saw this was like, man, this is very similar to the Thrustmaster T16000 joystick but it's basically the Airbus edition now, which is pretty cool. Again, it's basically, mainly this part looks like an Airbus. Um, the joystick part is more, mostly like the Airbus replica side of it. And again, pretty cool how you can actually uh, put this down. And I guess you could somehow, I'm not sure how, I'm not gonna do it right now, I'm scared I'm gonna break it. But I guess you would just kind of go in here and you could probably unscrew these with a little screwdriver and just pop these out. So again, I'm, a little scared of doing it myself right now. I might try it later, but you should be able to just pop those out and then place these in. And then you can put this one on the left and this one on the right. So pretty cool. I like that functionality. That's very nice. And as usual, it should be a pretty simple install. We have our USB cable here. Um, that should be pretty darn simple. Um, it also does say on the box that there is uh, the target programming uh, software so that we could program our uh, firmware and our buttons and things like that. We'll probably do that. So this should be pretty simple to set up. So let's go get this thing plugged in, installed and working in my flight simulator. As you can see now, we are on the X-Plane 11 joystick configuration page. Uh, maybe some other time I can show you how to set this up in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but right now I cannot because of the NDA. Uh, but yeah, so X-Plane is asking us to calibrate our uh, axes. There is no image for this yet, so right now I'm just using my video image here. So you can see I have the TA320 Pilots is what it's called in game. So what we're going to do is we're just going to basically turn all of our axes. Axis zero is the pitch. So we can go ahead and click that and change that to pitch. And that's working beautifully. Axis two is the roll. So we'll go ahead and set that to roll. And we could also change the responsive curve. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Okay, axis two is actually the little throttle lever here. So I uh, will set that to, um, I'm personally not gonna use it as a throttle, um, but I honestly, uh, if I'm flying GA or something like that, I'll set it to my mixture. So for now, I'm gonna set that to my mixture, but I, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna set it to mixture. Just as my personal preference, but obviously, obviously you can do whatever you want. Um, and then our, rudder or nose wheel is going to be here on axis three, which I'm going to go find my nose wheel uh, tiller. And that is what that's going to be. So uh, pretty simple. Then we have all of the buttons here. And uh, again, you can just kind of set these to whatever you want to set them to. Obviously, I am not going to map them all right now. Um, I usually honestly, my left sides, my left six, I usually use for preset camera views, one through six preset camera views. And on my right side, I, I have uh, a few other buttons. And one more thing, uh, over here on the mixture, it doesn't matter if you're using this for mixture or throttle. So say I change this to throttle, right? So I have it all the way back, which usually would be being throttled to zero. Again, I mentioned that little slot. You see this, now you can actually see this better. So as I slide it back, moving it back, there's gonna be a little bit of a, right here, it's like, kinda like a notch right here where the throttle will stop. And this is basi basically like 0% throttle. Once you push it back even more, it goes to reverse. Now I don't know how to set that up, 
um, to make that go into reverse for that function. I'll have to figure that out later. We're gonna hop into an aircraft and uh, just do a real quick flight control check and just make sure everything's moving okay. Uh, we're not gonna be doing a full flight today. Stay tuned for another video of that. All right, we're here at, situated in Tampa Bay International Airport on runway 01 right in the TOLUS A321. We're gonna do a quick flight control check and kind of see what it feels like on takeoff and then we're just gonna burn out of here, guys. So let's take a really quick look first at the actual stick itself. And you can see as we move around, it moves just as we expected. I think it'd be pretty cool if you could actually take this part off, this top uh, side stick park off and uh, create basically your own uh, realistic Airbus throttle or at least the bottom piece take that you know take this off and replace it with that if you had your own you know at home Airbus rig and you see as we twist it the real Airbus obviously doesn't have the twist function on the side stick so it has a little tiller over here to the left of the side stick and that's what we have that's what we're using right now but yeah it looks pretty good and down here on the MFD you can see we go full left and full right full forward and full back and it all is working beautifully all right throttle up kill that noise park and brake release let's go my rudder pedals are actually not installed right now so uh, we're gonna have to use a nose wheel in the beginning to stay on the center line I'll be getting those set up pretty soon. There's 100 knots. 120. 140. And rotate. Positive climb, Kira. Definitely feels really smooth. And roll to the right a little bit. Speed, speed, speed. And to the left. Speed, speed, I know. speed. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed, speed. We also have our speed set to 100 knots. I didn't change it. <laughs> oh well. But well, you get the point. It feels pretty good though, I have to say. I'm getting used to using my left hand uh, for the side stick rather than my right hand. But I'm looking forward to a pretty fun adventure. Interested to know, guys, what do you think of this new Thrustmaster TCA side stick Airbus edition? Is this something you're looking into picking up or not? So far, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to uh, testing it out some more, trying it out some more, doing some more flights. I'll definitely let you guys know my final opinion later on but as of now this has been our first look guys thank you so much for watching remember you have three choices give up give in and give it all you got peace love and god bless you i'll see you guys next time next video i'm out man this is not a game you want to i went from a bag to a bag to a bag i remember me and mama used to ride the cab pull up by the lot no more at least we paid cash show up to a crib had the keys to a jag that's that light work flexing so much it hurt the rock came it dines, not beside you down my shirt. I remember them days we couldn't wait for the